As I was watching television this morning, uh, flipping through the channels, watching Fox News, CNN, all the major networks, uh, everything was about D-Day, Normandy. Uh, I was a year old when Normandy happened, when uh, the United States freed the world from Nazi Germany, and it's always been every single year since I was uh, old enough to really know what D-Day was all about, and uh, I watch it every year, and every year it, it just uh, strikes more home into how fortunate we are here in America to have had young men. I was a year old. A lot of those guys over there in Normandy was 17, 18, 19, 20 years old. They were just kids themselves, uh, and they saved the world from Nazi Germany. They saved the United States of America for what we have today, and I couldn't help but notice that even the president-hating media, uh, the America-hating media, uh, they were still a little taken back by the, the events that happened over there and the ceremonies where our president represented America and represented every man that and woman that was in that invasion. I, I guess that back then it was men only. Um, but I, I had an uncle that was there. Uh, I don't know that he was thinking about me. Uh, a little one-year-old in Oklahoma. But I know he was thinking about America. We used to say, love it or leave it. We don't say that anymore uh, because there's so many people out there that are trying to destroy America, trying to take away all of our traditions, uh, get rid of a president's statue because he might have uh, done something wrong back when, you know, when he was a kid or whatever. Uh, Americans aren't perfect. We never will be. But we have the longest standing form of government in the history of the world, except the Ming Dynasty. And uh, the respect that I saw for our president today was some of the other networks out there, and I watched several of them this morning, it was pretty good. And uh, most of them hate the president. Most of them hate America. Most of them hate our way of life. Um, I don't know that they really hate it. I think it's just a way for them to sell tickets and to make money and to get viewers. But we have a great country. I've had the honor and pleasure just a poor country fisherman to meet uh, every president since Jimmy Carter uh, with the exception I had an opportunity to fish with a couple of them uh, except President Obama I would have loved to meet President Obama I disagreed with a lot of what he stood for and believed in and, and I've not believed in every president that we've had but I sure supported them they've been my president and once they got elected I laid aside all of my political differences um, and respected them as president of the United States. If we want this country to survive, if we want America to continue where a baby that's one year old now can look back 75 years down the road and watch a D-Day on television or whatever they'll have 75 years from now. We've got to stand behind this country. We've got to have, but stand behind our president, the one we have now, the next one we'll have, the next one and the next one, irrespective of whether you love them or hate them. Because, by golly, this is our country. This is America. And I'm so proud of America. And I always will be till I take my last breath. And the next president, I'll support him just like I support the current one and the last one and the one before that and the one before that and the one before that. Golly, what a great country. We are so fortunate to be here. See you later, guys and gals.